This is Shannon with Shannon McTy Photography. I am going to be editing this image with you from the Bohemian Rhapsody collection. This image was taken in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we were about 30 minutes, I want to say, till sunset. It's a bit underexposed, more so than what I usually would do. And that was done on purpose as I was trying to get back those beautiful clouds that are in the background. It was taken with a Canon R6 and my lens was a 50 millimeter 1.8. So this photo by the end of it will be a little bit warmer and it has this collection has so many great actions to help get more of a warm tone set as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is the underexposed prep work and again you just look through here and find which one matches the photo that you have. So if your picture was taken in blue hour then the blue hour fix would probably be the best one. If it was overcast then the overcast fix. Radiant light is more of when it's really really sunny out. And gentle light is just really correct tones. All of them bring up the exposure just a little bit because it's meant to be for underexposed prep work. So for this one, I'm going to click gentle light clean and hit play. And immediately it did lift the colors and the brightness up. I am going to get a black brush. And I'm going to bring my opacity up to like 80% and I'm a little bit smaller brush or too small. And I'm just going to erase it off the clouds a little bit because, again, I really want to keep my clouds as much as possible. So I'm going to right click and flatten that. And I'm going to run it again because it's still a little too dark for me and I want a little more color. So I'm going to hit play. And now we're starting to get to where I really want it. Again, I'm going to erase it off my clouds. And then I will lower the opacity of this one to about 60%. So this is before and this is after with that. And then I'll right click and flatten. And so now that we've done the underexposed prep work, let me show you this was before and then just running that twice, this was after. We're going to jump down here to the optional boost and I am going to add just a little bit more exposure click play and I love that again I'm going to erase it off my clouds I might even erase it off the water a tiny bit there we go and then I'll right click and flatten and then I'll go right under it and we're going to do the automatic brushwork so this is AI helping I love this so much so this is the pop a subject you have clean, green, and magenta. And again, it's whatever makes more sense with your image. For this image, I'm going to use clean. If she had like a bluish undertone, then maybe I would either use clean or magenta. Or if she was really yellow, like really like so much sun on her, the magenta would help balance her skin tone out. And vice versa, if you want it cooler, the subject to look cooler, then the green is really good for that. But for this one in particular, I'm going to click pop the subject clean. And hit play and I love the brightness and color that it puts on her I'm just gonna drop it down though to about 70% so this is before and this is after and I will flatten it the next thing I'm gonna do is the sky I like to do the background last. I typically like to do the sky and then when I boost the background that encompasses the sky and it helps bring those colors out more Let's do enhance the sky clean, hit play. Oh, I love that. So this is before and this is after. And I like that a lot, so I will right click and flatten it. And to be honest, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna hit play. I just want my sky to be pretty rich. So there's that. Now that I've run it twice, it's just a little too much for me. So I'm going to lower my opacity to about 50% and I will erase a little bit here off the mountains. And that's just so at the top of the image, I have more color. So this is before and this is after. And I'll flatten that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to boost the background and I'm gonna pick clean for this one. Hit play. I love that. So this is before and this is after and you can see it really brought out the colors and brightness in the photo before after so I will flatten that 
And then I'm going to come down here to the one click color base. This has a lot of different options that you can do to kind of adjust the colors in your image. The ones I'm going to use on this image are subtle clean and subtle warm. Subtle clean is exactly what it said. It's going to add a little bit of a clean color brightness to the photo. I'll hit play. And so you can see if I turn it off and back on, you can see it adds a tiny bit more magenta to her skin, to the sky. I'll flatten that. And then the subtle warmth, I'm going to hit play and that's going to add a lot of warmth. So this is before, this is after, and I love the warm. What I'm going to do though is lower the opacity of it to about 40%. And again, I don't want it that warm on the sky, so I'll erase it off the sky a little. So that's before the warm and that's after. I'll right click and flatten. The next thing I'm going to come down to is the expand dynamic range. So this little section right here to me is how you get the colors more than anywhere else. So what this is, is a type of dodging and burning right here. And so it's a little bit different where dodging and burning, obviously burning is kind of putting the darkness onto the photo and dodging is shaping light. And usually for the most part, people paint that on. This one's going to be a little different. How I get my colors is I burn the entire image and then I dodge it by erasing. And I'll show you what I mean. So the one that says I'm just a poor boy, that is going to be kind of like the burn part. So you click on that and hit play. Click continue. Continue. And so as you can see, the photo now is super rich. These colors are gorgeous. I absolutely love this, but obviously it's a little too dark. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to dodge the image by erasing off the highlights or where I want my viewer's eyes to go. So shaping light basically. So I'm going to get a small brush at like 40% oh, right there. I might even get a smaller brush. And I'm going to look for where my highlights are and where I just want my viewer's eyes to go. And I'm going to start erasing. I'm going to erase it off her face a little bit. See the highlights down her neck, her chest. And if it's not enough, just erase more. A little bit off her outfit. I'm going to get a smaller brush and I'm going to come down her arm here where I see the highlights. And same with her arm right here. I'm following the highlights a little bit in her hair. On the top of her leg, I can see highlights. And highlight right here. And then I'll also follow it on the dress because I can see some highlights there. Maybe a little more on the arm. All right, so now that I've done that and you've raced it off the highlights on her, I'm going to look at the overall image and say, do I want to shape light anywhere else? So I am going to erase it on the rocks a little bit where I see highlights on the rocks and it just makes your rocks stand out a little more But when you're done with this. And then what I'm going to do, and actually I'm going to do a little more in her leg here because that was driving me crazy. I'm going to get a big brush. Yeah, a little bit bigger right there. And I'm going to tap where the sun is and I'm going to drag it to the right, tap where the sun is and drag it to the left. And so by doing that, I'm shaping the light. Obviously, it's making it look like the light is really coming in behind her. And so now I've shaped my light and I've dodged and burned exactly how I want to. Bottom right here, you can see where my brushwork is. I'm going to take my opacity and drop it to zero. And then I'm just going to slowly pull it up to where I like it which I like it pretty rich, so about 75%. So this is before and this is after. And then I will right click and flatten that. The I need no sympathy, this is if you feel like you need to paint on more light, you literally hit play and you can paint the light onto the highlights if you need to. Then I'm gonna come down here. I'm going to jump down to the movable light and I'm going to do, let's do the, let's do the diffuse sun. I'll hit play, continue. So while you have your gradient fill box up, your mouse has become like four arrows. So you can grab it and you can drag it where you want it. So let's say I want it right here, but obviously it's too big. So you can come here to the scale and you can drop it down, make it smaller. It's about right there. I like that a lot. Once you hit OK, it kind of locks it in place, but you can still make adjustments on this layer. 
So I have a black brush and I'm going to just kind of take it off my subject a little bit because I don't want to lose it on my subject and I'll take it off the mountains just a tiny bit. But I actually love the glow in the sky. I think it looks really good. If it's ever too much again, just drop your opacity down. But this is before and this is after. And it's just the subtle light. And I'll right click and flatten that. The next thing I'm going to do is come down here to my, let's do, we're going to actually jump down to the artistic color grading. I love this section so much. Everything in here. So this is going to like tone your image and each one tones it a little bit differently. It is so fun. So I recommend just kind of playing with each one and seeing which ones you like best. I like them all just on different images. So for this one, I'm going to click the I want it all and hit play. And I love how rich it made this image. I also like what it did to her dress. I'm just going to lower the opacity down to about 60%. And that is before and that is after. I love that so much. There we go. And I'll right click and flatten that. Awesome. Now I'm going to come back up to here. Let's see. Where is it? Let's come down here. Okay. Like right under it. So underneath you have some finishing effects. A lot of these create a lot of smoothing. So this one, this first one, I'm warning at the piano. This one's more for headshots. And the A Day at the Races is more for pullbacks. These two work kind of like portraiture. It creates a nice softness to the image. Then the an evening at Live Aid, it creates like this. It's a little bit different. It softens the entire image, including the details. So I usually will play both. So I'm going to play an evening at Live Aid. Hit play. Hit continue. And so it just makes it really nice and soft. However, if it ever makes your details too soft, just get a small black brush make your opacity up a little bit more than this and just paint it off your details. So that's what I'll do on this. I'll paint off her hair a little bit, her tattoo, a little bit off her dress so we can see the details of her dress. But I like the way it makes her skin look. I like what it does to the background. And so the rest of that, I'm going to leave the same. Then I'll right click and flatten it. And then I'm going to go right above it a day at the races and I'll hit play. Continue. Perfect. So this is before and this is after. And I love it. You can still see all the details, but it's a lot softer. I usually like to drop it down to about 50%. It just depends on the image, but I like it about 50% on this one. So I'm going to right click and flatten that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back up here to the artistic color grading. And this one that says we are the champions, I'm going to play that. That creates like this kind of this warm mat all over the photo. I'll hit OK. I love that. So if I turn it off, turn it back on, you can really see it in the background, all the warmth. And then usually I will go ahead and I'll bring my opacity down to like 50 percent. I'm going to erase it off of her some. because I don't really want the mat on her or that first rock. And then I'll just lower my opacity a little bit. So that's before, that's after. Flatten that. Then what I'm going to do is come down here to the micro adjustments and I'm going to play the one that says really. It's a neutral pop and this just gives a nice pop to the image. So this is before, this is after, but it makes it nice and shiny. Right click and flatten. And then I am going to come back up here and the one that says Mamma Mia 1, we're going to sharpen the details. I'll get a small brush. And I'm just going to brush it on her eyes, lips, her tattoo, and a little bit on her dress and hair. Just so it stands out more. Right click and flatten it. 
And the last thing I'm going to do is the clean tone enhancement. I'm going to play Frightening Me. I love this color. It's the last little bit of saturation to the photo that I usually like to play. And so that is before, that is after, and then I will drag my opacity down to about 30%. And that is off and that is on. I will flatten that. And then I would call that done. I love this photo. So let me show you before. I'll go all the way back up. This is before. And this is after. That is quite a difference. Thanks for having me here today. I really enjoyed editing this. I hope it taught you a lot. And if you're interested in the Bohemian Rhapsody collection, it is available now at www.greaterthangodspeed.com.